Today we have a very special guest. Um, I've been trying to track this guy down for a while. Um, if you haven't figured it out yet, you came to StandThemUp.org, so you should know that this is a sp exclusive interview with Russell Ruthless Belichick. Right? It's Ruthless. Hey, Ruthless is first. But... Oh, Ruthless. Okay, yeah, that's right. That's why it was hard to say. Ruthless Russell Belichick. I like that. Getting ready to fight a uh, rematch of a much anticipated. You've been asking for this. Um, yeah. Fight against Mark Cherico next Wednesday at the NAAFS Night of Champions. How do you feel? I feel fantastic. You've been. Uh, I've put in the camp for the last six months trying to get into this tournament, and uh, everything's clicking. Brian's got me clicking in full capacity. Every cylinder's going. A uh, great camp. Uh, just ready to go out there and show the people what I'm about. You, you've had a, a, a pretty hard-to-deny rise to this finals. I mean, you've beaten three guys in a row, three, three, notable, three notable fights. Um, you know, I don't know if a lot of people gave you a chance when you came into the tournament, but it's hard to deny it now. Yeah, I mean, every time they put somebody new in front of me, I'm told I'm not going to win. I'm just there to, you know, they start with BP. I, it was, I was just there to fight him to get him a win. And I'd end up beating him. And then they gave me Velasquez, and they told me I wasn't going to beat him. He was a stand-up guy. His stand-up was better than mine. I went in there, stood up with him, and destroyed him. And then they gave me uh, third fast, and I mean, I put him to sleep. This, this fight with Cherico means a lot to you for a couple different reasons. Um, he's the only guy to ever finish you. That's number one. But you've been asking for this a lot. Is there is there any particular reason why you want to fight him? I mean, because... Um, um, one, he's pretty much one of the best fighters in the area at 145, if not the best. Um, two, he's got the best stand-up game. Uh, he's got the best takedown defense. He's got Without giving too much away, because obviously everybody's going to be hearing this anyway, but without giving too much away, where, where do you see your style uh, fitting in against his style? Uh, uh, I just, you know, I, I, I know what he knows, you know, if he's going to beat me, he's got to get me down, uh, and everybody knows that, I mean, you know, it's about the only way he is going to beat me, he's get me down, and me into some sort of submission, but uh, my, my submission defense is getting better, and uh, that's, that's, uh, that's about it. So, it, it's safe to say that you're you're probably going to look to score points on the feet and, and keep it standing. Yeah, uh, definitely. I mean, that's, that's where I know I can finish the fight, is on my feet, and uh, that's what I'm aiming for. Okay. Is there anything in his game on his feet that you see that you think you can exploit? With obviously not giving too much away, but I'm just curious. Uh, not really. I mean, I, I believe it's going to be a war on the feet or on the ground. Either way it goes, I think it's going to be a war, and it's, it's really going to put me to my test to see how well and well-rounded fighter I've become over the last year working with Brian Pfeiffer. Um. I was I wrote an article about you know this whole fight and the preview and 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 how a lot of people had been writing you off and and I think that that's they're they're pulling the trigger on that a little too quick. You used to train in another camp and decided to make the switch to Pfeiffer. What what was the reason behind that? Uh, when they started having uh, a fighter start training other fighters and uh, he ain't like the best fighter. Uh, I would have to say uh, it was time to go. Uh, when when I they were wanting me to help do stand up and my stand up, like I mean I, I got good stand up, but I'm not a teacher. You know I, I don't have that well of skills to teach somebody else. I'm still learning the game. You know I don't need to teach somebody else. So it was, I need. 
So, as far as the fight itself, is there any prediction? Uh, just, uh, just, uh, hang on your seats because it's going to be a hell of a war. I think, I think so too. I, I think this is one of those ones that, um, is going to be a little bit more difficult for both guys than anybody's p predicting. Um, I have that feeling. I, I know you're coming in. Um, you know you're on a roll. You have some confidence going into it. A lot of confidence. It sounds like. So um, I think anybody who's selling you short is is definitely not looking at the entire puzzle, just certain pieces. Yeah, they're they're pretty much just looking at what he did to me when I first started. You know, I had no ground game when I first started. I had nothing but striking. You know. And when he took me off my feet, I panicked and tried standing straight up. Instead of working to get up, I just stood straight up. And, and I gave him my back. You know, he baited me in and I gave it to him. And, but I had no clue what I was doing. So, I mean, now I have defense and, and I have a little bit of a ground game. So it's going to be a whole totally different fight for sure. Um, okay, so... Let's say you, you beat Mark um, next Wednesday. What's the next step? Do you stay amateur or do you go pro? Uh, that's totally up to my coach. Uh, I want to go pro. Um, I'm, I'm just uh, I'm strapping myself for cash pretty much, you know. Running here, running there. I mean, it's just getting raggedy. It's, it's time to start making money. Um, but that's, that's totally up to him. If he tells me I'm ready, that's when I'm ready. Uh, you know. Anybody's gonna say, okay, I'm ready to go pro and, and this and that, but if, he'll tell me if I'm ready, and that's when I'll be ready. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, I could see that. Okay, let's say you lose. Do you think you're definitely gonna stay amateur? Or is it still? Uh, that's, that's, uh, we, we've had this discussion, and uh, we both agree that it depends on what I do. He told me that if I, if I would have to lose, and I go out there and have the fight of my life and do everything clicking on all cylinders, and I still end up losing, he said that doesn't mean you're not, we're not going to go go the pro route. But, he, you know, it just, uh, depending on how I look out there is pretty much what we're based on. Okay, well, it sounds like you have a pretty logical plan as far as that, that type of thing is concerned. Um, but before we wrap this up, we always like to go over and, uh, you know, thank any of your sponsors, training partners, teammates, anybody. Is it, you know, do you have anybody you'd like to thank? Uh, yeah, I would, uh, first off, uh, like to thank Brian Pfeiffer for everything he's done for me, him and Shane and the rest of the independent crew to put me to where I'm at. Uh, my other teammate, Bob the Beast Stepinski. Um, without him, this probably would not be right now. You know, he's the one who got me started in this game, and uh, I just ran with it. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Faction uh, Mouthpiece, um, yeah, Independent Clothing, uh, South Park Boxing, uh, my family and friends that supported me through the thick and the thin through all this. Keep me going, uh, and that would be about it. Okay. Well, um, you know, me personally, I was going to thank my sponsors. I'd like to thank Thicka Steve's. These guys have been great. Um, do a good job, you know, on point. I'd like to thank everybody who bought a pre-order t-shirt. Thank you very much. People who signed up for the American Hardcore Grappling through the site. That's a good look. You're helping your boy out. Um, trying to, you know, put all this together and using the site as a tool. It's, it's great when people, you know, uh, are comfortable enough to come on and purchase things and hopefully we're helping them out too uh ruthless russ thank you for the interview i appreciate it we've been i've been trying to track you down for a while and you know get you on the phone and talk to you about everything i know that you've been you've been waiting for this fight i think everybody has I, um i'm excited for it i wish you luck thank you